Hey guys, Takusugi here, and tonight I'm going to cover the Tau Warrior re-reform. Uh, old character, and judging from the infantry reform, re-reform, we're in for a big treat, I guess. <laughs> uh, so three hit basics, more speed added to him, possibly more range. It feels like it has more range to me. And the third hit seems like it knocks back maybe a little bit more, but not too much more. Uh, but yeah, more speed and uh, possibly more range to it, I believe. And uh, here's your hold D. Your hold D knocks back much further. And uh, it seems to, like they've added um, more uh, hitbox to it. So it hits a lot more reliably around you. And it comes out quicker as well. So all around buffs to the hold D. Let's hit a crowd of people here and give it a whirl, uh, figuratively speaking. Bam. I don't know why I didn't hit those guys in the back. Bam. Three of them. Pretty nice. Pretty nice changes to the hold D. Here's your dasher. Your one hit works as like a really small half faint. Your second hit, you can do a second hit off the, after that, and that second hit will faint. You don't have to have the first hit hit. You can aim the second hit, and it'll faint. So yeah, nice uh, extra dash there. So uh, you can mix up pretty good with that. And also you have another dasher, your whole D dasher. This works as a launcher. And so you can start some juggle opportunities off that, off faints and stuff. So yeah, really nice. And uh, here's your jump attack. Your jump attack, you can aim it like a gladiator's now. Uh, it still half faints. And uh, you also have a second jump attack. But your second jump attack is a whole D. And this has a really wide vertical swipe. And nice range to it, too. And if you connect, it's going to faint them. It also hits grounded. So let's show you the grounded hit. Oops. Okay, I didn't show it that well there. Bam. Nice ground hit. And we're not done yet. So we have a... If you catch someone in the air, it's going to bounce them down. It's like a Viking and pirate and all that stuff. So yeah, nice anti hazma and uh, anti v uh attack there. So yeah, all around nice basic attack changes to Tau Warrior. Let's get into our defensive capabilities down here on our robot friends. As usual, he has a deflect. Nothing new there. His, uh, his ground recovery now stuns for a long time on the first hit. If you let it keep going, though, without canceling it... It's gonna just do a nice little long knockback. So yeah, that knockback's probably good for quick edging if you caught if you're like really surrounded and panicking or something. And so let's, that's that's defensive capabilities, the weapon skill recovery and the deflect. And so let's get into our skill skills and do our weapon skill here. Uh, we'll show you the difference here. Uh, as you can see, the standing version of the first hit only does a short faint compared to the star stun on the ground recovery, but as a compensation for that, it knocks back a little bit further. And you can trigger this up in the air. It'll do the same effect, but we're not done yet. So we're never done with Tower Warrior, guys. And it also hits grounded, as you can see there. So this lifts off the ground now, too, so you can hit on people on the ground. And let's get into our armor skill. Armor skill, more wind up, but here's why. Little bounce uh, fall damage. So nice, nice change to the armor here. It's, you can, it does the same effect off standing, but you can do your uh, do a little juggle off that now really easily after the fall damage. And uh, your helmet, it's much, much quicker. Same effect, but much quicker. And also, it hits grounded. Let's show you. Hits grounded. So <laughs> everything hits grounded, huh? Uh, that's a towel worry for you. And let's do our trinket, waste all our skills. So it still recharges all your skills, but it adds a speed buff. Speed buff, uh, as you can see here, we'll just run around till it wears off. There it goes, it wears off. I guess it lasts about 10 seconds, I'd say, give or take. But yeah, uh, still does the same old effect with the trinket. It covers all your skills and gives you the speed buff, like a night cloak. So yeah, nice changes to the Tower Warrior all around, guys. It might be pretty OP now, especially like with this whole D jumper here. It's going to just obliterate everyone. Uh, so let's try and do a quick combo, how about it, uh, to wrap the video up. Let's see what we can do. Maybe do this. We'll do it simple, guys. We could do bounce downs, but we're going to just do it simple here. Oh, how did we fail that? Let's try it one more time, because I got a good combo here. I got a really good combo going on here, I think. Two, two three. Get it going. Get it going. One, two, three. Two, three, do our armor. And we're gonna do this! Oh, he fell down! 
But you see, we could have looped all, all of our skills back again because of that fall damage, and we could have done the whole process over again, possibly just killing him with an edge. So yeah, nice nice combo potential on Tau Warrior. All around, nice basic attack changes. He's going to be a real powerhouse now. Uh, I made a tier list uh, today, and I think this would make him probably S or SS. I, I would probably rate him S after this. That's just my opinion. He's really great now. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, good night, good day, whatever time it is for you, and we'll see you later.